know what would be cool is if they did like some Asian ones, like um, like a green tea and or like a red bean mm. uh, pop tart. I think red bean would actually make a lot of sense. There's surely an apple pop tart, no? Yeah, there is an apple. Oh, pop-tart, okay, yeah. but apple pie is just apple, right? Kinda. <laughs> well, then I'm. Wrong. If it had the little like but no, actual it had, like, bits of apple in it, yeah, 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 cinnamon yeah, yeah. over the top. Yeah, okay. it's a little bit more specific. And what about you, Tamar? I don't know. The Dorian thing was just yeah. like. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. I was tre- no, but I wouldn't really want that. <laughs> I don't like Dorian. I, I was thinking like something outrageous, like a Starburst flavored pop tart. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You can't. <laughs> like you just got a get rainbow out of all, the, all the main Starburst <laughs> yeah. flavors, and it's just Starburst yeah, in there. Yeah, we just mix them all together. <laughs> There's a lot of flavors in Starburst. It's just, like, yeah, just Starburst. There. Can I read the next <laughs> question? Yes, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you know, it's interesting because of that drink, the Skittle. Is that what it's called? The the Skittle what? drink. Oh yeah, I love that know. drink. Yeah, but what Skittle? is the flavor because there's lots of Skittles. Mouthful, what what saying? All Skittles kind of taste the same. There's a shot that people make that you add these ingredients and it's called the Skittle. Yeah. And it tastes like a Skittle and I've had it and it does taste like a Skittle but I can't remember which flavored Skittle. All Are you Skittles sure it doesn't just taste, taste like when you wrap them all mixed together in your mouth? I guess that's kind of what it is. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to do that. Oh, I'd mash too. them into a big ball. Oh, yeah, and then take yeah. it out and look yes. at it. Yes! And I it's just this too. big white glob. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I used to do this. I used to make Skittle sandwiches. I take like three or four and smash them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disc. Why? Because I was did you, ever, did you ever do? Did you ever decapitate gummy bears and then add them to different bodies? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Absolutely. I, did that. I think all boys squeeze candy together when they're younger. Fred, who we like saw, uh, together. No. I, 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 I saw, I saw the Exorcist of Emily Rose at theaters. But I was like, I was, I was a teenager, so I was a little bit. My buddy was scared by it, and he bought Skittles. And by the end of the movie, there was a fucking bar of Skittles because he squeezed it so hard because he was so scared. Uh-huh. There was a whole solid bar of Skittles. <laughs> That's not that sad. movie's not even scary. But no. he was like, you know, he was younger. I don't care. It's not scary. It wasn't scary at all. Well, you should have kicked his butt. I kissed him. That would have been scary. I made him insecure about that. Yeah, it was that's a right. No, but I made him feel stupid about himself. I said, "Yeah, what do you think about that?" I said, "You could kiss her." <laughs> okay, so that's one or or any of these. That's great. Whoa. Okay, wait. Okay, this is a good one. All right. Come on, you oaf. We got another question from Dave Cummings. If you could live in any TV slash movie universe, what would it be and why? Ooh. Ooh, Ooh I'm question. Dave. Ooh, I'm such a smart ass. Dave. <laughs> Dave. You want to live in Dave's world? Dave. I want to go to Dave's world and kill him. <laughs> and become the, the Dave. That's not a movie. <laughs> Dave's world. Dave. I, I don't know. I, I'd like the Twilight Zone universe. You would, would you actually know? There's so many different only, universes. Only if I was Rod Serling, oh, okay. though. Oh, yeah. I oh. could bounce around. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. that's a good... All right. You, yeah. you, 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 would, you would make sure you have a Rod Serling off. Do, you, do your best Rod impression. I don't think I can do a good Rod Serling yeah, I don't in even the first know. place. Hans can do a really good... Yeah, Hans is a good good Rod. He's good at a lot of voices. He has a weird lip thing, Rod does. <laughs> What's the phrase he says? It's like, you're now entering a dimension not only of sight and of sound... It's like mind, mind. <laughs> a portrait of a man. Mm. Welcome that's to the. Not that bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty. You got good. a speech pattern down. This is the Twilight Zone. Oh, oh you got yeah. yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. He kind of does that weird like <laughs> thing, and he's got a cigarette yeah. inside he's, of him. We're talking like about how he's got the hair lip from his like military. He like yeah. got, he got he hit by like a grenade or what's, something. What's the last line of the war? This is a real thing. He got hit in the face with a grenade, and he just got like a piece of shrapnel or something. That's the worst of the Twilight Zone. Is it? Is that a real thing? Imagine if you or did someone make that up? That's why he does it. Okay. Hans was telling us how he lived he lost him. in the war. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's Imagine true or not. He, I know. I do know that he fought. A lot of those guys did. It's interesting. Yeah. Rod yeah. Serling, J.R. Token, uh, did, didn't Walt Disney, I think. Uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart did. Jimmy Stewart, yep. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking used to, I almost said Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was an almost real answer for a second. See, like, you're actually rotting your I, brain. I know, away. Right? You this, this is it. killing me every time. Every time you're writing about Jimmy Neutron, I'll get your shit pushed out. <laughs> Oh man, imagine, imagine Jimmy Neutron and Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> fucking movie. Sonic was in World War II. <laughs> 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 imagine, Jimmy, imagine Jimmy Neutron giving me the filibuster at the end of Mr. Smith goes to Washington. <laughs> this is a free country, all! <laughs> <laughs> so, what TV movie universe? Oh. Yeah. Mm. I'd go to Family Guy's world and kiss. <laughs> I'd kiss Meg. I'd love her to be her real <laughs> husband. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I want to live. I'd go to Homer. I'd go to Homer Griffin's world and kiss Lisa. Zach, Homer Griffin. I, you know what? <laughs> you would actually probably be an amazing Family Guy character. Hey guys, what the heck is this? I'll, I'll, be, Peter, I'll be Peter's friend. <laughs> hey Peter, let's go surfboarding. You'd be Steve from American Dad. 
cool. Yeah, have a little fucking Or you bird. look a little bit like him. <laughs> You're the voice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I go to select the hedgehogs while they eat chili dogs with them. <laughs> Salute the American flag, hang out with Obama. <laughs> Dude. I would go. I would go. You know how to really go? For real? You guys want yes, to real it? Yes, for real. Rocket power. I was literally about to say that. I, was <laughs> I, would, I, would, be, I would be for Tito. I'd say I'd be Tito's best friend. He could be all kinds of crazy advice. Yo, hey, Tito. You'd what do be I do the with new this? squid, Zach. You know that, right? Dude, Squid You'd Style. Be the new squid. Squid discovered Squid Style in that episode. <laughs> you're pissing me off. <laughs> you ever see that episode where they're it. like, "Come on, Squid, you're not a retard. Do it." He's like, "I can't do the skateboard," and they're like, "Do it." And he gets on it and he like he like goes he down. His leg. He fucking does a flip by accident. And they're like, "What do you call it?" He's like, "Squid Style." It came up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the history lesson, Chris. That's all I remember. I remember Tony Hawk looking like a yellow leukemia patient. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he had like corpse skin. He was like, hey guys, they all scream and run away. <laughs> I don't like this sport. <laughs> what about you, Chris? Uh, oh shit, okay, so he stole rocket power from me. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I would live in the world of that Tubby Wubby Pony Waifu oh video. Oh my god, stop it. No one knows what I'm talking about. I'll just I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I would live in the world of Chris Chan. He's like her too. That's Wait. the real world. Wait, did it say TV show or her too? What did it say? You TV mean show. Like because you, you said Twilight Zone, I guess. No, I don't want to live with Christian. Okay, one, one, one more. I get one TV more. TV or ticket. movie? Okay, or I movie. You could do movie too. I'm trying to Lord of the Rings would be a couple No! Be hey, Gollum, dude. I was thinking Lord of the Rings would love, but no. No, Harry Potter, obviously. Oh. Uh, okay. I would really? say Lumos and I'd find my keys. Would well, you? <laughs> yeah, what if you weren't a ma magician? Yeah, what, what if you weren't magic? Could you be like a janitor or something? I would be like. I'd be a squib. What if you were a dirty muggle? Yeah. No, Muggles. Don't. What if you were dirty Muggles? He could be. He already is. Kind of. Final Fantasy. If, if I was, a <laughs> you wouldn't be any worse off. I if guess. I was a Muggle, I wouldn't know about the magic world anyway. It would be the exact same world. But if I was a Squib, I'd know about the magic and I would be able to perform magic. Chris, what? You should be ashamed of yourself for not any words. I'm gonna go home and drink a butter beer. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know this. I think you're, you you would know. Juice, bro. <laughs> is it possible for someone who doesn't inherently have magic skills to learn magic in the Harry Potter world? Yes. I don't think so. Just no way. Wait, they, they, what about they, Hermione? They, Wasn't she? They saw her midichlorians and they're like, "We'll bring you in." Shut up. <laughs> I was gonna say Star Wars. See, well, yeah. I the like the original the Star Wars universe is very cool. Yeah, you get the, killed you, by Jar Jar. There's so many different. <laughs> there's so you many different plans. <laughs> I want to be like I always wanted to be a smuggler in like the Star yeah. Wars world, like doing spice runs, having adventures. It's just like a pirate. Yeah. But spice but runs. That's but what Dune. Would no, you make the castle no, run also, in less than one million? Spice is what they call like drugs what? in the Star Wars oh, universe. Did they? Oh, yeah. Okay. Spices. What I used to do. He does the castle run. run. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But yeah, he's he's smuggling weapons and spices, right? This. Yeah. That's what he does. So who are you, Hans or Chewie? Chewie. Obviously. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Chris, got a voice actor. Chris, Chris can do a really good hot solo. He does the face and everything. Hello. Oh shit! <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Hello, Chewie. Welcome. Chris, do the hot solo smile. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jack? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What TV movie fictional world would you like to live in? I don't know. Uh. I was thinking Dragon Ball Z because you can't die. <gasps> Why didn't die? I think of that? Oh, because yeah. like you just can't die. If you were you in the Dragon twice. Ball universe, you'd just be to a die human. after you're dead. To die. Be you'd be a human. A human? Yeah, the Saiyans would come to your planet and blow it up. Great. <laughs> yeah. but, but, she, but, but I she... wouldn't die. I'd just come back. Oh yeah. I, I, I just. Get but then you'd be back. stuck in that creepy office with the big guy. <laughs> he'd be like, or the home guy. for infinite. <laughs> yeah, and you can fly. Yeah, you just have to learn how. Yeah, anyone can. You don't have to have yeah. some yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anybody can, can learn can. how to fly. They use chi. You just have to try fly. really, really hard. Yeah. You just have to use your chi. Yeah. Yeah. Tian is levels. the ultimate try hard. Yeah. <laughs> Even grew a third eye. If I was, yeah. a, if I was a Goku's role, they could fall in love with me and break his heart. <laughs> <laughs> He could never recover from that. No, that'd be the one thing he kills when he He'd gather up all the, all the Dragon Balls just to wish just to you wish. back to loving him. And the Dragon Balls, you can't do that, man. It's against the rules. Right, if Goku got an erection and you slapped it, would you break your hand? or would it, Absolutely. But no, but would it like... You have a chance. Would it destroy you? Yeah. No, yeah. but... But it's still a cock, so would it like flop or would it just literally it would just, it would still. just it would just only Goku can slap his cock. What what is our <laughs> what, what is the general consensus about Goku, Superman, or any other superpowered character that comes 
does that shit blow a hole out no. the other side of somebody? No, it's just cute little cub. Goku's come. I like Superman's to think cub. Goku. We never see him training him or anything. Yeah. yeah, he might just have normal, normal gentle abilities. What it sucks. That's what, I, that's what I'm always yeah, assuming. Yeah, just this tiny little like tiny little That'd fucking be no he's like, pecker. He's like a god. Why if, would it be tiny? No, what if? That would oh, suck. If Goku oh. shoved the book plug up his ass and, sc- and clenched his ass, would it just come out as powder? No, or what? Yeah, it would shatter. Yeah, no, he would destroy it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> he would absolutely destroy. He wouldn't it. have no. to try. He could smash that in dust if he wanted to. With his brain, <laughs> he could just use his brain and smash it into dust. Mm. See, we're asking the hundred hitting questions. What you users are talking about Iran and the Middle East? We want to know what happens when Goku shoves a book plug up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> These are the real questions. America, wise up, wake up, people. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right so this one's this is an interesting one this one isn't quite as funny but it, i am curious there are some answers here is it thought provoking uh, it is thought provoking and I'm, I'm curious what your answers are john toomey asks as technology progresses uh your future what improvements do you hope come to the process of animation in other words mm. what do you hope becomes more simple in the future of animation i'll tell you what look I, I I think in the future, if there could be a program for like basically like a essentially a program where you could do like backgrounds like Photoshop, basically Photoshop or Toon Boom or sorry, excuse me, Photoshop slash uh, Mega Studio, like a background program, like the line work of Toon Boom, the 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 simple layout of Flash, like if they, if you could basically combine every great feature into one program, so basically if I could switch to a different layer. We paint the background, then do a different layer, do animation. That'd be great. I'd love that. And the line work would be good and consistent. If Manga Studio... Because with Flash, I had to zoom in really far yeah. to get good flash lights. If Manga Studio had a timeline, it would be the best one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think a, a good... The, the biggest issue with Toon Boom, besides like that it's convoluted, is that it's kind of unappealing to look at. The interface is kind of wonky to me. Yeah. It's not that fun to use. Toon Boom Flash has a really good gross. interface and like layout and stuff, but, the but it has a lot gross. of issues. Yeah. On the other hand, Toon Boom has very few issues. But it has a disgusting layout. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could combine all the great features into one program, it'd be great. I would love that. Well, there, there was that program that came out. What's it called? Chris? TV Paint? The one that does the in-betweens? I don't know what that's called. Oh, I don't know. All right. I, I don't trust it. I don't know. Well, I've seen some of the results, and, and I think Harry was testing it oh, out. Oh, I saw that. Harry was posting it, yeah. Yeah, he was test- He was posting some of the tests of it, hmm. and it Harry seemed Parker. fairly accurate for simple things. Like, if you're going to do a very subtle, like, like a hand head turn or... Oh, yeah, yeah that, that'd yeah. be good, but, like, yeah. It I mean, nothing's going to replace, like, oh, my hand turns in from a hand to a shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Have you guys seen that stuff Pixar was putting out with the uh, 3D, 2D? Oh, the, the paper, what's it called? There was a specific short film they did it with, right? It was paper called board, Paper Man. The paper Man. Yeah, yeah. Paper, well, paper, they did like a demo where, yeah, <coughs> it was showing all the different styles you can do. I, I, I feel I, like that's the future. So it's mm. basically you create a 3D rig, but yeah. it prints out. But then it makes 2D. everything 2D. I, I just want to see 2D come back in general, because what, what was the last 2D yeah. Disney? Like, pr- well, Disney Online actually continued, well, I've been posting, shortly after they made the announcement that they weren't going to make any more 2D features, they started posting these um, kind of Mickey Mouse stuff. I saw those. Those are very well done. They're very well done. Yeah, yeah. We have a very, friend that works yeah, on got, those. I yeah. love those. Yeah, and like, the adorable. style is like a really nice mix of modern and old. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I like it a lot. Yeah, no, it's, it's very well done. I, I, I mean, like, in a sense, we're like a theatrical... Yeah. I thought they, they pretty much said they were never going to... They did. Well, I... It might come back. I, ho- I hope, man, because... Uh, but what's the future of 2D, 3, then? 3D TV shows, 3D, TV, movie, 3D, oh, 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that too, eventually. It. Because with 3D, you can make it, like, mechanical, and you can have a robot do it, like, in the future. Not, not a robot, you know what I mean, like a, like a program. Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier to do with that, but with 2D, there's pretty much nothing you can do besides drawing it by hand. Well, but, I think the auto-in-betweeners are going to be a real popular yeah, thing in the future. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The, the reason I prefer 2D, though, because if you're a kid, there's really bad. Like a kid really can't draw a 3D character like a paper. There's something. There's something really nice to me, at least, about a kid watching a movie or a TV show and drawing it on paper, like or whatever he wants to draw. Yeah. SpongeBob is a hard motherfucker to draw. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He was one of the first characters I learned how to draw. Him really? and like Goku. Him and Goku. Yeah. There's like weird two characters to pick, but. Does anybody mind the fact that the Goku in the Dragon Ball universe, all the characters have like two faces? What do you mean? Oh, just the Toriyama just kind of has... Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, he's the same face as the guy from uh, Time. Uh, time. Oh, you're saying they all the exact same. Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. He's also the Dragon Warrior. Time Gun. I'm or okay Dragon with Warrior. that. <laughs> I'm alright with that. I mean, why is the shit has a kind of a similar thing? Like, everyone looks like the Simpsons now with Family Guy. Brickleberry looks like Family Guy. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that that's all show. people yeah. who have these Very distinctive gross. styles that become famous all kind yeah. of exhibit that pattern where yeah. they... Yeah. They really have a specific way they draw each gender and they don't deviate far from it. Every show in the 60s from Hammer Bear looked the exact same too. They all had the exact same character designs. I mean, it's just yeah. a trend. It's like every 10 years a new Red and Snoopy changed a lot of the way cartoons looked in the 90s. And it's like, you know, if Adventure Time did it too. There's like every every tale comes along that really fucks with how people draw, which is fine, but... Red and Stimpy was awesome back in the day, though. I like that. What? No? No? no I like I I it. It's, okay. no, it's iconic. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think the one thing they did that I really I really really miss about TV shows at least that are cartoons is painted backgrounds. Oh yeah, nobody's really done it in a yeah. while. I mean, they, we have like nice kind of vectory, even the hand like uh, drawn, but I haven't really right. seen like a. Shad was doing those for everybody. Have you though. seen Steven hmm. Universe's backgrounds? I love. I haven't. Those. Are they like painted painted or are they kind of? Is it like SpongeBob where they're kind of just no? It's color? like well, it's they've got these big lines in the yeah. background for sunlight, but they look really great. Cool. I noticed in Venture Bros, um, because I, that's I, a, that's a great I was watching one, it's like the first show. season, <clears throat> but I noticed with the backgrounds, I don't want to say they're lazy, but they're clearly stylistically... They're very simple. They're very simple, but I noticed... Um, in that one show's of, evolved a lot artistically. Yeah, no, 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 no. It, it absolutely has, but in that first season, what I noticed, they were in the desert or something, and I realized, because I could see the brush that they used... And That's they were just cool. like clicking it around, and then as the oh, scenes wow. progressed, like even when they're inside the ship, even when they're in a house, even when they were using the same fucking brush, oh. like every <laughs> single oh, that time. Weird, that weird, like, splotchy. Yeah, it's like a yeah, splotchy, I know, it looks I like a sponge Oh, you yeah, showed yeah. me that before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I was just like, I just, all of a sudden, I, that's all I could see, but I didn't mind. I mean, clearly it still works, you know, it, it, you know, as far as the show is concerned, but yeah. This question comes from German McSperman. German McSperman. How AKA. big is your dink? <laughs> How stink? German, stop asking this. How stink is your Every dink? Every episode you ask this, we're never going to answer it. <laughs> stop, leave us alone. I the hate that guy. Room, though. Stop coming to our house. You just answer it and he'll stop. He'll stink. go away. What's the question? Yeah, how much stinks on your ding? How much stink is your ding? Well, how, how, how? In my country, I have much yes, stink on my How many dink. stinks can a dink dink shank of a dink shank of a dink dink? How All much right. stink? <laughs> Here, let's skip that question again. Yeah, we'll I'm sick of him. Sorry. All right, so here's an actual question. He he Helgi Ta Mar... Ta -ta 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 yeah, that's a little reference for you. Helgi Mar Bjornensen. <laughs> yeah. What is it? I'm not kidding. Um, he says, hey guys, how many jobs have you guys had through the years and how were they... <laughs> how have we never been asked that before? How weird. I don't know. I mean, there what was a... Word? Yeah. No, there was uh, that uh, the the one with the Power Rangers. What was oh, it? Oh, the, the shitty jobs. jobs. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk about all of our jobs, but I mean, like real life jobs. Yeah, or real life jobs. Jobs? Out, No, no, no. I've Outside of animation, work. before you right. you were doing your voice acting tomorrow, before you were doing your animation, Jackson, before Zach became a child prostitute, and before oh, Chris, I was that was sexy. I want to hear how, like what voice acting jobs Tomar has done. Really? No. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'd rather talk about when I was 14. <laughs> uh, my, the first job I ever did, like, like that wasn't, you know, just for, like, a family friend or whatever. It was actually, it was for my friend's dad. But he did this thing. I, I guess, is it cool if we mention brands? He created... I, I don't want to get anyone just in trouble for child labor no, 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 no. I don't want to get anyone in trouble for child labor laws. Just describe so, it. But he, <laughs> he, he more or less... He he had like a sex toy factory. Okay. This, this is the best. This is the most generic I can make Not it. Not so really. He, he invented a product <laughs> that was made exclusively for people to have sex on top of. Okay. I mean, there are, these, there are these shapes, and they change the angle of penetration and whatever. No, it's a and pillow. It's a it's a thing he invented. <laughs> he invented with, the pillow. He, <laughs> and then Tomar <laughs> fucked it. But it's a, no, it's like an interesting. Uh, so like, no, what, one of my first like actual like job jobs. Which I only did this like one or two days. Were you a tester? But I worked full days. <laughs> no. It, no, I was working was I was actually in the on. factory on the assembly line putting these things together. Yeah. Which, yeah, in itself is pretty innocent, so it doesn't really matter. I was 14. Yeah. But I know exactly what these were for. Mm. But yeah, they were just these big foam shapes, and we had to like put the like sleeve around them, the like the machine washable sleeve. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then put it in a little it's a little like carry tote bag and gross. put it in the you box for yeah. shipping sweet dude it's fine that was that was my I think that's the most interesting like <laughs> early job I had Did, so, but you knew what it was for even then oh totally I mean I was 14 yeah I was a horny 12 year old I yeah. definitely knew what it was by the time I was 14 yeah <laughs> Does it have like grooves for like the butt? No. No, no. It was just it's it was just an like, angle. It was just like there were little pillows where you could just like raise someone's like butt up a little more. <laughs> okay. Or like or like big ones where you could like lay like, back on it. It was like Tetris pieces, but you, know? you fuck on them. It's, yeah. This yeah. actually sounds like one of those like workout things, like that pull up bar. This was actually it's a, a successful a product. This business is still going. Cool. Yeah, that's why. It, and it's children like, I don't... still work there to trap their today. Please call them immediately. Please call for help. Well, yeah. Nice. What about you, Jax? My most interesting job? I sure. Don't know. My first job, I worked with my parents, and um, I'd like go into people's houses and tear up carpets. One place, it smelled like asshole. Mm-hmm. And it's because we tore the carpets up. Yeah. yeah, well, when we tore the carpet up, <laughs> we saw all the stains from all the cat piss. Oh, yeah. And this was like a, a real cat lady's yeah. house. Like yeah. A real cat, you know. A real cat, like a hundred cats Holy in this shit. place. And we tore up the carpet, and I just remember, like, when we tore that carpet up, yeah. the stink will never leave my nose. Just burn yeah. your it eyes. It burned my oh, eyes, yeah. my nose. The chemicals, or the, Ooh. yeah. It's almost like, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Like, the water that rests under, where you get your well water. Like, it goes mm-hmm. through the dirt, and then it rests on that rock, right. like that layer, and then it just kind of seeps into the Septic ground. tank. No, Zach. No. <laughs> There's a name for it. Anyways, it's kind of like that where it seeps through the could be a septic and then it just stays, stays down there. It just there. stays there yeah. and just kind of like marinates. Yeah, which yeah, it, kinda, it should remind you that if you if you move into someone's house and they have pets and that those pets have been pissing on the floor and you're like sitting on that carpet or rolling around on that carpet, you're just rolling around in fucking animal piss. Yeah, just and r- clean it when it happens, but if, if you, you don't it. clean it yeah. and you leave it... Yeah. As that lady was probably so used to the smell of cat piss she didn't even realize. She, she was, was so old, yeah. I, I'm sure her nose was just broken after all these years. <laughs> the cat's like, fucking batting your face around? Because I remember this house, because I'd drive by it all the time. Because it was like on the way to whatever, my school or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just remember like, oh, I finally am going into this place and it smells this bad. Yeah. <laughs> Did the lady die? Is that why you guys were cleaning the place up? Did she pass away? No, she was just wanted new carpet. And thank God yeah, her parents she had, had a flooring um, business. Oh, she had okay. um, cement under the carpet, but mm-hmm. even worse for the carpet. Right. It, it just sits there. Oh, yeah. It sits. It can't yeah. stick into the ground. Yeah, yeah, it was the worst. That was the weirdest job I had. <laughs> what about you, Zach? I, I, I've talked about my job at fucking Arby's. That was the weirdest job you had? Not the weirdest, but it was horrible. I hated it. What was the weirdest it, one you had? I mean, I, I got I got the animation pretty much right out of high school. Okay. I job most through high school, but that was the job. If you if it was work past me, that's the job where you literally yeah. think about suicide for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's really? That, yeah, you're just like, oh. That's oh, what I felt. I I worked in warehouses after that. Like the I worked in the Target warehouse for a summer. Yeah. And I like, it's just ex- <laughs> there were 19 of us, but we were processing like 2,500 boxes Jesus. a night. Yeah. The, the and it was thing, yeah. it was soul crushing. Yeah. The worst thing about a job like that is they have you since if it was not busy, they have you do other jobs, which would be fine, but they so I would go from like handling people's french fries to like cleaning out a fucking toilet or like a gutter. Yeah. Like not even a gutter, but those little you know those little uh, those drains like in the middle yeah. of the restaurant? Those things oh my god. It's like the one thing I was like, please never put me on that. I like you gotta go fucking do it, you're not getting paid. Oh, you mean where all the like grease and all shit goes? All the grease goes? and rolled uh, and fucking filth. And I was like, okay, back to fries. And I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> how much would I they have to grab someone's eat? fucking turn to the toilet and polish them for them? Yeah. Disgusting job. <laughs> Put a or in a burger the king. Polish the probably like that. Yeah. Time this guy didn't polish the guy's turn enough. The guy came back with a gun and killed that guy. Yeah. So we had a policy of specifically having good polished turns or the customers would leave. <laughs> the boss had a very strict turn policy. <laughs> It was ridiculous with his turn policy. <laughs> he, he would actually carry it around in his coat pocket when he worked That's there. honestly like a Twilight no, no, Zone episode. No, no, seriously. <laughs> seriously, when a new, co- when a new like, employee would be there, he'd walk over with a suit and, with a cigar, and the, the boss would pull out and turn it out of his pocket. He's like, this was the first turn I ever polished. This is the standard of this restaurant. And that's he put, such, he put it back into his that's jacket. That's such a horrible pocket. nightmare world you just created. <laughs> that's real. Fucking biz- that's real. These fucking rich businessmen walk into an Arby's and they find polished turns and suck them up their ass and leave and pay. I was totally, you had that last but I was totally PC about it. What else are they going to do with the polished turn? Kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. 
<laughs> Break it with half. They could go to Ireland like for the Blarney board. Stone. Put them back right. up their butt. Yeah, yeah. all right. For storage. So, like, what, Chris, you go. The only job I've ever had... Well, okay, so when I was small, I worked for my dad in his warehouse up until Why I got... Why you small? You like, Because yeah, he used to get me helping him whenever he could. I just remember. He wasn't bad or anything. He's just like, Chris, come help me. I'm like, all right. So he put you in chains. He used you as like a doorstop? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, carry this box up the stair. I'm like, okay. I've got a really weird memory where when I was a baby, my dad picked me up by the head and <laughs> put me on the couch. <laughs> Like one handed? What? That's a lie. One handed bomb. He's got to pick up with a head as Chris's fucking bushy head so he can't get his dad freaked out through with a My ground. body fell off, my head stayed in place, yeah. and he sewed it back on. What's your dad like? Because I, I remember hearing your mom on Skype, and she sounds just like female you. Yeah? His so dad your looks dad just like, like him. No, he really? doesn't. They were he very around. pleasant. We got some, they visited. They were very nice. My dad looks like a vampire. His dad looks like him with a guitar hero shirt and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we're. This is from GameStop. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can I say, Chris, you know, personally, though, I don't, I don't know any, like, brand shirts. You have a guitar here. You have, like, what were you wearing yesterday? <laughs> I forget. I, guitar here. I've got a million, have... I've got a million shirts I bought when I was 16 in Hot Topic when I visited America, and I still wear them. I don't them think all. I have one shirt that has, like, a thing on it, like, one of those. That's... I have a Breaking Bad Los <laughs> Pueblos Hermanos shirt. I don't know if it, it exists, but if it does, I will pay someone who's listening right now <laughs> to send Zach a pair of... Of Sonic the Hedgehog, Jimmy Tidies, Tri- Tri- where the the little logo of Sonic, you know, he's in that ring yeah. at the beginning of the game. It's like right over his wiener. <laughs> or <laughs> asshole. Or asshole. <laughs> or asshole. Yeah. I'd probably make that. And, I... then you, and then you can stick your wiener out, kind of like he does when he comes out of the. What's thing. the bounty on that? Look, uh, probably $10. like a thousand dollars. That'd be great. No way. If it was over your asshole, you cut a little slit, and you could poop it and come out of his little thing, like no a little way. hole. I never, <laughs> I never. I never get served alcohol when I wear these shirts. Really? Why? Cause yeah. you, it's because you, cause you wear a shirt as a 14 year old. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I like it though. Hey, whatever makes you comfortable, Chris. <laughs> I like wearing <laughs> fucking see your shitty fucking Guitar Hero shirts and Halo 3 shirts. Do you have a Halo 3 shirt? Yeah, I was wearing that the oh other day. God. I've got a fucking PlayStation. Uh, these are all from GameStop and Hot Topic. Chris, you're the you're like yeah, my initials spell MC. Something like that. Some <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. Chris yeah. has a studio Jesus. shirt where he has like blood on <laughs> No, you don't. I do. And I've got uh, Spongebob underpants. Ah, uh, cool. SpongeBob that, I believe. Pajamas. I've got lots of different Now, do your Spongebob underpants look like his pants? Like, is it just brown with some pockets on the sides? They're brown, all right, but... <laughs> Chris, I'll do it. No. They're just... It's more like a yellowy swamp. Yeah, there's <laughs> yellow on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they were white. They're brown and yellow, and I just call up my Spongebob underpants. <laughs> <laughs> they were, yeah, they were white, yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and yes. they're also damp like they've been in the but ocean. But that does let it, it never occurred to me until now that Spongebob is just all like potty colored. Yeah. Like, yeah. You'll, you'll see he's a swamp ass. He's yeah. swamp ass. And then his eyes color. with his nose looks like a dick and balls. Fucking. You are a pervert. pervert. You're a pervert. What are you talking, what are you talking yeah. about? I hate what this pervert. Like. Like. <laughs> Don't ignore the truth. Yeah. And, Face it. And Patrick Open looks like eyes. a big butthole. Yeah. Patrick's a big starfish. He's a star. <laughs> He's the yeah. pink starfish. He's five dicks yeah. 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 See? Whoa. Oh my five god. Pink dick. Right. Dick and starfish. Like that side oh, just got to get so there's a pink starfish and poopy colors. Mm-hmm. There's some. So there's what's some Squidward? Obvious. Mm-hmm. Squidward's a big butt plug. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> a big blue butt plug. And Mr. Krabs. Come on, guys. Whoa. You can get more obvious. Wait, no. Squidward. <laughs> have you ever seen that video where the Japanese girl pushes a squid out of her pussy? Oh no! That's, that's what Squidward that's is. Yeah, that's I thought that was a eel. Black, Chris. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's not. It's not real. <laughs> no. That was an eel, though. No, there was an octopus girl too. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've seen the octopus. Ew! Yeah. You imagine that? Like they pull down their pants and there's just like a fucking squid tentacle coming out. Blue squid. Oh, what, what would a blue squid be a sexual innuendo for? I told you a butt plug. A blue squid. It sounds like a sexual. You, dude, he has a big fucking head too. Let me show you my blue squid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a busted ass blue pussy. It just, yeah, it just sounds like a <laughs> rotten old pussy. Yeah. Ew. Uh, I don't know if I said this already. What was the, what, what was the question? What problem? It was the jobs. It was the jobs. Oh yeah. I I don't know if I said it already, but did I mention that I worked at a strip joint? Really? No. Oh, I guess I don't. I, no, I worked oh, as a. Dang. I was Bouncer? a doorman. Oh, I um, knew it. Which is slash. The initial bouncing, it's like phase, it's like the pre-bouncer. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, they actually have the real bouncers inside. Those guys got like tasers and shit. Um, in case people go like wild on the girls, they need to be like pull them off and shit. Um, but it was in Washington, so it was a dry bar, so there was no alcohol. They had soda and stuff. Wow. But my job a dry ended up being, bar. That yeah, is my, some sad <laughs> shit. Yeah, my job ended up being a whole bunch of weird shit. 
where like I'd also have to be the lot guy. I'd have to go and make sure people weren't like fucking or doing drugs in the in the parking lot. And then also sometimes I'd work the bar, which basically meant I made the sodas, cleaned the glasses, and gave the girls candy when they got off the stage. That's Aww. creepy. How old are these girls, dude? Okay, so I ended up dating one of them, which is a really big no-no. I think you told me about that. <laughs> yeah. So one yeah. of the girls I ended up dating, I don't need to name her. Uh, she had two yes, names, Stephanie. obviously. No. <laughs> But, um, so, one of the big no-nos is that you don't ever, ever, ever date the girls. Like, that is something... And even after you quit the job, What's you can't even go into the... It was a deja vu allowed to be in one of those months after you've quit. Why? Deja vu? Yeah, well, show girls deja vu. I the first strip club I ever went Yeah, to. they're a chain. They're, they're yeah. everywhere. Why aren't you allowed to go back in if you quit? Um, because they, I guess it's like they think you went to go meet girls or something, so then, like, you're not supposed to be able to... Well, I, thought, oh. I, thought they, I thought they were afraid you were, like, a psycho who's going to come back in. I don't know. Place. I mean, that might be part of it, too. I mean, the truth is, is after we started dating, I quit, because the bounces there are fucking crazy. There were these two guys who they said every night after... After their shift, it was like 3.30 in the morning or something, they'd get in their car, go into downtown Seattle. This was in Kenmore, but they'd go to downtown Seattle, and they'd find bums sleeping on the road and tase them in the balls <gasps> until they pissed themselves. Whoa. That was what they did for fucking fun. That's And so when we were outside Seattle. and they're telling me what they do for fun, I was like, fuck, I fucked up, I need to go, I need to quit immediately and not be here, because these are the guys... Who, if they found out, you know, it's not like the mafia or something like that, but clearly the rules are a little bit, they're still a little bit kind of shady. It's a strip joint. Yeah. It's super fun. Yeah. But it was a really weird, I don't know, it was weird, like, you know, the baby, like, world's best dad sticker on the back of the minivan, and you're like, oh, okay. And then, uh. Oh, it's a, I, I always assumed strip clubs were just full of, like, disgruntled, like, 50 year old men who want to get divorced. You know, it's a mix of, like, young guys. There, there's a mix of, like, young guys for, like, bachelor parties, and then there are some older guys, too. Um, there was one guy who'd come in who wanted to be. He, they would like, he liked being embarrassed, hmm. so they'd, like, make him lick ashtrays and, like, do all this kind of oh, stuff. Oh, exactly. And like, all the girls wanted him to fucking be around, too, because he tipped really, really fucking well. Is he one of those guys who, like, who makes the videos where it's like, girls like, nice small dick, loser. Yeah, yeah. What, absolutely. he's gonna piss your diaper, baby? It was absolutely yeah. that. It was absolutely that. And yeah, then, was that. Yeah, yeah, and then for, um... <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. Just I'm in not. general, it was really weird. It was fun for about a half hour, and then it was, like, the most depressing thing I ever saw, because... It was like all these girls, you were asking how old they were, and, and there was a really wide range. There were girls who were like in their late teens all the way up until, you know, probably 45 or something like that. Mm. Um, one of the girls who was really, really nice, she actually went because she was trying to pay for college. But then what ended up happening was is that she got so much money that she got an apartment. But then she also got a car. And then she also got a dog. And then she also got, so then her lifestyle all of a sudden required a certain amount of money that she wasn't then also saving for college. And then it got to a point where she couldn't stop because she would lose her apartment, her dog, or her, not her dog, but like her apartment or her car. Well, eventually when she gets through college and gets a job, she can stop. But she it. didn't, she was saving up for college, but then she ended up using right. it to create that lifestyle. Well, I see. Well, yeah. good for her for working so hard. Yeah. 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 They make a lot of fucking money. Yeah, They make a lot of yeah. money. Even the, I mean, this Deja Vu wasn't even that fancy and it wasn't in like downtown Las Vegas. Uh, the one that I went to <clears> was like a solid C. Yeah. Yeah. Those girls are still making, they're still making a killing. I know. The ones in like Vegas, I guarantee are making so much money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In like those nice places. Mm. Do you think you'd be a good stripper, man? 